Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna teach you seven common Isan expressions. If you are living in Isan or you are living in Bangkok but surrounded by people from Isan, you will hear them accidentally speak one of these that I'm about to tell you. In this video, I'll speak both Central Thai and Isan and English, of course, but I'll focus more Isan so everyone can learn from it. This is the reason why I have chosen only seven because I don't want this video to be too long. And I'll be talking about seven other expressions in the second part, which is the next video, probably next week. So let's begin. Or some people would say this phrase can be used when someone annoys you either by speaking too much, asking too many questions or by making anything that makes you feel annoyed. To emphasize it, you can make it longer by adding a word before Inyang Kado Kadia Jom Nyang Kado Kadia or Jom Inyang Kado Kadia Jom it's bon in Thai which is complain meaning why are you complaining this much Ka bon arai kanakana Ja bon arai kanakana Jom Inyang Kado Kadia Ku la ngut in Isan, Gu it's Gu in Thai. So we speak it with a short vowel, Ku Sara U. And it's not rude though if you say this to someone that you know them quite well. Gu Langut meaning, how could it happen? I'm confused. In Thai, we say, Ngong Pe Mot Lao. Ngong. When someone does something inappropriate, or something unexpected. In Thai, you would say Kulangong, like unbelievable, how that person did like that or said like that. Kulangut. So the pronoun could be changes depending on how angry you are, how confused you are. It could be Koi Langut, Chan Langut, Pom Langut. Also, it's your choice to choose one. Ka Sang Man Sang meaning Chang man in Thai. Chang man when something bad happened and nothing that you can do. Sang man Sang man For example, someone cheated on you and you just let karma to do the work and say Sang man Chang man Bo on son. Bo on son. I don't give a Mai sai jai rok. Mai sai jai rok. Or mai ye se rok. Mai ye se rok. To make it sound stronger. This expression can be used when someone did something to you that might cause you to get mad. Or they have done it for a purpose, such as trying to get your attention. But you knew why they did it. So you kind of don't give a damn. Whatever you do, whatever you say, it doesn't bother me. Bo on son, or you can say, Bo on son dog, Bo on son dog, Bo on son. Mai son jai rock, Mai ye se rock. So on son, not on sen. On son, yes, yeah, similar to on sen. On son. So if you drop bo, so we have on son. On son by itself mean you care about something, you obsess about something, you admire someone or something really much that's on son. So bo on son, it's opposite meaning. Ya pai hua sa. Ya pai hua sa in Thai is ya pai thu sa, which means don't care about something or someone. So 
don't take offense. This expression has a similar meaning and uses to the previous one, but this one is a lot stronger. And it can be used when someone did something terrible to you. For example, you are running a business and someone gave you a bad review because they want to ruin your reputation just because you made a minimal mistake. So, ya pai hua sa. A bad review doesn't affect your business that much, or you have a better way to improve your business. But if you did something to someone and they might get offended, you can say ya pai hua sa by following your name and then at top, the structure is shown on the screen. ย่าไปหัวซ่าเขาถอดย่าไปหัวซ่าจอนถอดย่าไปหัวซ่ารอบถอดย่าไปหัวซ่ามันถอดเป็นตาลูโตนออเป็นตาเหลือโตนเด